Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now getting closer to the end of 2023, each month that passes by, and we know that Bob Iger is really heavily preparing his final earnings call, which, by the way, takes place in early November, where he's going to be unraveling all of his announcements to the general public, the shareholders, and a lot of other aspects related to the upcoming Disney purge that is going to take place throughout all of 2024. We'll be talking about that a little bit later next week. However, what's even all the more revealing has a lot to do with actress Rachel Zegler and whatever happened ever since the interviews for Snow White went viral. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into what's happening with Rachel, the Snow White situation, as well as the Disney higher-ups. Now, as you all know, there's been a lot of adjustments and changes happening at Disney, not just for their DEI agenda, but also for a lot of their upcoming movies, TV shows from Marvel, Star Star Wars and just Disney in general. There's a lot of budgeting limitations, they're making everything small scale now, moving onwards for the next couple of years to kind of create a pattern and see what works and what does not work. And I don't think that you're going to see large scale format films and shows by Disney for at least five years because we know that Bob Iger wants to at least do this for two to three years to kind of experiment and see whether or not this is going to be profitable to them. However, this is where matters get even worse for Rachel Zegler's banishment from Disney and the whole situation related to her getting removed and fired from multiple Disney-oriented projects that Jenna Ortega is in the process of taking over. Now, specifically, with Snow White 2024 as the leading issue right now with Disney, but the cinema side of things, apart from the Marvels, one major development has to do with Rachel Zegler. The ongoing development of Zegler's banishment from Disney gets even worse, as it turns out. More roles were purged for Zegler that were in the cards for her as an actress. Now, specifically, Zegler was removed not just from the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot as a character called Stella that Jenna Ortega is now in the process of taking over, but also from another major live-action role that focuses on witches, which is planned to become a major franchise as big as Pirates of the Caribbean that is currently codenamed World of Witches which is a placeholder title over at Disney. Zegler was previously chosen by Disney to lead this multi-film deal as one of the main witch characters in the storyline that was going to be a dark comedy series of films that Jenna Ortega 2 is now in the process of replacing Zegler after she was removed by the Disney wit bigwigs. Now guys, let me just stop here for one sec, all right? Now, there's more to this that we have to talk about, but one thing that I need to focus on is the fact that from what it sounds like, Disney is really trying to expand in a desperate attempt to do something different. Now, we know that the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot is going to fail, and it's going to fail hard without Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow. I mean, that's just a given, guys. I don't know about you, but that's how I see things. You can't have Pirates without Johnny Depp, and you can't have Pirates without Jack Sparrow. Even if you did a recast, it won't work. It won't work at all. So this whole scenario of Zegler getting dropped from the Pirates reboot and from World of Witches, which by the way, that's not the official title of the franchise. That is a working title right now behind the scenes. They really want to make this into the next big thing. And they're going to be announcing this next year sometime uh, within 2024 at one of their earnings calls. So interestingly enough, Zegler is getting replaced by Ortega by a lot of these roles. It's an ongoing process that's being discussed between Ortega, her agent and manager, so large that this has been rattling throughout Disney and much of Hollywood because we know that Disney is desperate to get iconic figures out there that are either actors, singers, actresses, it doesn't matter. They want to get anybody that they can that's going to help them boost a new franchise or a reboot in the works. But at the same exact time, you know, they are, they are doing some counterproductive things. They don't want to hire as much stardom power in the grand scheme of things. They want to just do this in a spotty fashion. Now, what's interesting about this further 
is the fact that given that the whole situation with Zegler is creating a bigger hole for Disney because we know that not only does this make them look desperate, it makes them look very weak as a company. And not just that, it's also going to showcase why they should just drop the Pirates reboot altogether. You know, we know it's not going to work, so why even just try to drag you know, Jenna Ortega into this. I don't even know why Jenna is taking her time to discuss this with Disney. I think that she should just walk away, not go back to her roots with Disney, because what Disney has become is nothing more than a big mess. Now, specifically, beyond that, Zegler was aimed to play a character codenamed Grunty, which was not the official name, but just a placeholder as well for the world of witches. Additionally, the pirate's role that Zegler was removed from was planned to hold connections to Captain Jack Sparrow, as Disney is planning to make the pirate's reboot a soft reboot as it turns out. This is the role that Jenna is taking over. Many believe the character Stella could be the daughter of Jack Sparrow, however that is nothing that has been made clear. Another major project Zegler was removed from entirely was a new animated movie that will focus on a new Disney princess under codename Lara. Zegler was removed from this role as well, and Ortega is in the process of replacing her from that. As of now, Zegler is not allowed to get any future acting gigs with Disney after what happened with her interviews going viral that gave Disney a very bad image. Now about that animated film, this is said and reportedly going to be just as big as Frozen 1 and 2 that Zegler was supposed to take part in of becoming a new Disney princess, you know, voicing the role, stuff like that. It was going to be a major voice uh, over opportunity, uh, voice acting opportunity for her, and that went sour. Now, we know that given that Snow White 2024, it's going to be a damaging movie regardless of what they do no matter how many re-edits you perform uh, no matter how many marketing techniques that you fine tune or adjust in the process it's not gonna work in the grand scheme of things for disney it's just not gonna happen so we know that the seven magical creatures are still a thing in the final cut we also know that this movie still diverts from the source material with very few familiar familiar aspects like the apple is in there uh, the castles in there, the evil queen. That's really about it. I mean, besides that, there's no Prince Florian, there's a Jonathan, there's no seven dwarfs in the traditional sense, and a whole lot more than that. Now, the thing about this entire scenario, this is living proof that Disney does not know what they are doing. Now, look, they could have been onto something with World of Witches, but reportedly it is going to be a woke disaster. And it's something that Jenna Ortega is giving them an ultimatum for, that if they do not adjust their ways of treating that franchise, that she's going to walk away. So this is something that has been discussed between herself, her agent, and manager bouncing back to Disney because of all the strikes that are happening. So there's a lot of disconnects. But what's interesting about this, again, is the fact that this scenario just makes it all the more worse for Zegler missing out on these big time opportunities that could have very well, you know, given her a constant stream of revenue that she now lost, all due in part to those dumb things that she said about Snow White 1937 and 2024. So anyway guys, I would really love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.